What is happening, my friends? Welcome back to another installment of Vinyl Records. I'd like to welcome everybody back to my channel. Thanks again to all my subscribers for all your comments. Really enjoy it. Well, this time we're going to be doing Synth Pop Vinyl Records. First, I was going to do my top 20 Synth Pop Records, but as I was going through all my collection, there was just too many. So this is going to be my top 30 Synth Pop Vinyl Records with elements of Electro, dark wave, some goth rock, some alternative, all the good stuff. Mostly in the 80s, I got about two or three of them from the 90s. So let's crank it up with the very first one. Here we got Schilling. This is actually Peter Schilling. This is a different story. The World of Lust and Crime. Came out back in 88. And yes, this is the same Peter Schilling that gave us a uh, major time coming home back in the early 80s. This one right here is produced by uh, Michael Cretu. Michael Cretu, uh, of course, was from the group called Enigma. This one's played heavily in the clubs. It's for many years, I never knew it was called The Different Story. It's off of WEA Records. It's a uh, German pressing. WEA means Warner Electra Atlantic. I guess it was a merger back in the day. Really good song. Of course, no synth pop collection is ever complete without a little Depeche Mode. This is one of my favorite Depeche Mode songs. This is Everything Counts in Large Amounts. Came out in 83. This is a UK pressing. Uh, first heard this song when uh, Depeche Mode had their live concert. I really fell in love with it, so I just had to get it. We got Yaz. This is Situation. Came out in 82. Off the album called Upstairs at Eric's. Really good synth pop song. Other good ones, of course, is Don't Go. Only You. Uh, another one called Nobody's Diary. Really good smooth synth pop song right here, if you can see it. This is Ice House, No Promises. Really good song, came out in 86. Uh, there's some really good, like, various artist CDs that have Ice House on there. I think it had another one called Electric Blue. It was a good one in the 80s. Love this girl right here, Sandra. Heaven Can Wait. Good stuff, I think this from 88. Uh, this is more, I guess, synth pop freestyle beat. Uh, she was actually married to Michael Cretu at one time uh, from Enigma. Uh, she's got some really good stuff like Everlasting Love. Uh, she's got like, uh, what's my favorite one? Secret Land is a really good one by her. And she got another one called Hiroshima. And this is Sandra. Very, very nice voice. And she was born in Germany. Another good one is Succession, The Magician. This came out in 87. Uh, came off the uh, the Dark Enchantment it was a really good rare and collectible album that came out. So '87, The Magician. More new wave synth pop. It's the Boy Shoy. This is a way very highly collectible record right here. I've only played this record two times. It's been in my collection for a very long time, and I got it on CD. Uh, they got another one called Please Miss Lolita, and they got an LP that came out, I think it was back to 86, called Friends. Another Depeche Mode, this is Leaving Silence. Very, very early Depeche Mode stuff, came out 82. Here's the back of it. Uh, first heard the song, actually I heard a mega mix by Depeche Mode, and I heard that song Leaving Silence in there. So I listened to it, really fell in love with it. Also, I, pl I played the video. I had a uh, Depeche Mode live in concert, and he was playing this uh, Leaving Silence. So, really good song. Took me a long time to find it. Got in near mid condition. Very happy with it. Here we got Red Flag. This is If I Ever. I think it came out in 89. It was produced by uh, Joseph White and Art uh, Mahog from uh, Razor Maid. Red Flag, very good. It got like Russian radio. Count two, three, and some more good stuff. This is probably one of my very highly collectible synth pop. It's more synth pop, new beat, maybe a little techno. It's Axodri. This is you. I'll see you in my dreams. Really good hit. If you want to listen to it, just pull up on YouTube. So good. Here's Book of Love. This is a uh, pretty girl, pretty boys, pretty girls, tubular bells. I think this one came out, I guess about 89. Uh, Book of Love, of course. Song playing in the background. I Touch Roses. They had Boy. They had Lost in Your Eyes. They had Lullaby. Really good stuff. Their albums are great. They're very, very artistic. Anytime you buy 
an album or a 12-inch single by Book of Love. It's going to be a really great uh, album artwork. So we got Camouflage. This is a great commandment. I think it came out by 88. Camouflage has some other good ones like that smiling face. And they had another one called Neighbors. Real good. I think Voices and Images was the name of the LP. Great commandment. Uh, Camouflage, great artist. Uh, kind of, a lot of people consider them like the uh, the, ger the German type of uh, Depeche Mode. Camouflage. Ger came from Germany. Really good hits. Another good one they made, uh, One Fine Day. If you look on the B-side, it's called Clean Clang. It's a good song. This is a collectible record. This is Cause and Effect. This came out in 90. This is You Think You Know Her. Another one they got good is called What Do You See? And they got some good CDs too that's very highly collectible. So You Think You Know Her, very good. Love that song a lot. This is a song that eluded me for many, many, many years. It took me about 10 years to find this. This is Celebrate the Nun. This is Patience. This actually came out in 91. It sounds like it came out from the 80s. It's got that 80s beat to it. Good synth pop. The uh, another one by Celebrate the Nuns called Will You Be There it came out 88, so or 89. This one came out 91. Really good hit. She's a Secretary is another good one they had. Make me wonder. Love this song for so many years. This is uh, from 84. It's My Life by Talk Talk. Uh, no introduction. Everybody knows that one. And they got an album that came out called Talk Talk. It's weird. They got the album Talk Talk, name of the artist Talk Talk, and a 12 inch single that spawned from it was Talk Talk. It's my favorite Erasure 12 inch single of all time, Blue Savannah. Uh, it has the best uh, sample of Tour de France by Kraftwerk in there. Really good. Erasure, of course, had Chains of Love, Alamore, all the good stuff. This is actually uh, Blue Monday by New Order. This is the die cut. Uh, the die cut was introduced, I think, back in 83, and it's a repress from 85. And on the side B, they got one called The Beach. It's more like the instrumental side of Blue Monday. New Order's got all kind of good stuff, like Bizarre Love Triangle, True Faith. Had some good stuff from the 90s also. Real Life, this is Simeon Angel. This is the 89 remix. Uh, the original actually came out in 83. Real life. Very, very good artist. This is another Depeche Mode. This is Behind the Wheel, Route 66. This is more of a collector's item. This is the Beatmasters mix here, limited edition. Really good. Behind the Wheel, of course, uh, came out there 87. And also uh, Route 66 was a very good. Older song that was really sang by many, many artists, but uh, Depeche Mode put their own little spin on it. Really good. Love it how they put Behind the Wheel mixed up with Route 66. This is more LP, now 12 inch single. This is Visage. This is Fade to Grey, the singles collection. On here, it's got the uh, long version of Fade to Grey. Also, got Damn Don't Cry. I think it has uh, Pleasure Boys, another one. Uh, for many years, I tried to get the 12 inch single of Fade to Grey on a German import. Could never get it. it was uh, couldn't find it near mint condition, and some guy was selling some rock records on uh, Discogs, and he had this listed for a very good price. Couldn't pass it up, so like it a whole lot. I guess it's more new wave uh, synth pop, maybe a touch electro in there. I always enjoyed this cover. Uh, Set to Havu. I was um, told I was saying the name wrong. I used to call it Set to Javu. God told me it was Setu Hamu. So, synth pop situations. Uh, they got another one uh, called Having Mind. Having Mind's on my want list. It's a good one also. Moscow TV. This is a Generator 7 8. You better pray to Heaven's Gate. Good thing, good thing about this one, it has all the words to the songs on here. There it is. There's the track Generator 7 8. Moscow TV. And this one is some early stuff, y'all. This came out in 85. And also, they had another one that had a remix. This is real good. Moscow TV's got uh, their LPs, highly collectible. It's got uh, some good stuff. Techno Talks on there. So they've been around for a while. Very good artists. More New Wave, Synth Pop, Goth Rock. This is uh, Jean Les Jezebel. It's Desire, Come and Get It. Uh, this one came out about 86. I like that one a lot. 
Here's Until December. And uh, on side B is Until December. That's a good song. Live Alone and Shame is on side one. Good. I think this one came out in 86. Love the artwork on the cover. Very nice. Here's another camouflage. Uh, this is uh, Love is a Shield. This is more highly collectible. I think it came out in 89. like that one. There's another Depeche Mode. This is World of My Eyes. And on the second side, this is a song I really love a whole lot called Sea of Sin. The World of My Eyes, of course, is from the uh, Violator, along with Enjoy the Silence and Personal Jesus. All good stuff. There's another Succession that I love a lot. This is called Touch. came out in 84. And uh, another group that redid it was called NoHo that did Touch also. Succession, so many songs, Fire Island, uh, All the Animals Come Out at Night, uh, Michael, all kind of good stuff. This is a collectible, more uh, synth pop, dark wave. This is Sight. This is Unveiling the Secret. If you ever get their LP, is very highly collectible too. Uh, this one is on New Rose Records. New Rose was pressed in uh, France. And I think this is two brothers right here from Sight. I think it was born and raised from uh, Canada. More of an electronic synth pop song. This is the MNH band. This is Popcorn. I wish I had the, uh, the picture to uh, cover, but I don't. Uh, one day I might get in my collection. And this current one came out 87 off the of Touch Records. Some good stuff right there. And the last record from my synth pop collection, out of all 30 of them, it's got to be Zymox. has to be in there. I got uh, Imagination on side one, and my favorite song is called Obsession. More synth pop, dark wave, a little electro in there. Uh, Zymox, they used to be called the Clan of Zymox, and a couple good songs by them would be called A Day, and also one called Medusa, so it was a good one. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed all the records, some good synth pop music for everybody, and uh, stay tuned next time, I'm going to do some more top records for my collection. Thank y'all so much for watching and good luck on digging and finding those fantastic gems for your collection.